What's going on guys, Phil here and welcome back to a new episode of GeoGuessr on the channel guys. It's time for me to play a new North American country on the channel guys. I'm gonna play Mexico with you guys. In the previous episode I completed Guatemala with another perfect score. So that's now 4 perfect scores out of the 5 countries we've played for this series. Can we get another gold medal or even a perfect score on this episode? You're gonna find out if that's going to happen. The difficulty for Mexico is going to be moderate with an average score of almost 12,000 points. I think I already paid the main account. Don't know if I already have a perfect score, but we're just going to find out what's going to happen. Let's hit play and let's hit start game. On the countryside in Mexico, let's hope this road is on the map. I think there's a little lady in the middle of nowhere. La Boquilla. Ooh, some green signs. Very nice. Yeah, we're near this junction and we're looking for Leon. We're looking for El Torreon and we're looking for San Isidro. And they're all on GTO roads. That might be a region in Mexico, I think. San Isidro is two kilometers away. And Ocampo is in our direction. Great. Right, let's have a look on the map of Mexico, we're looking for a GTO state, I would say. It might be Guanajuato, or well, it might be because Ocampo is all the way over here. But where is this Leon city? Oh, it's over here. Ah, great. Yeah, and we were looking for El Torreon and San Isidro. So in between these two cities. Oh wait, San Isidro. Oh, great. All right, so that's over here, this junction. So we came from up here. Boquia, I saw that, I think. Don't think we are near these roads, to be honest. But let's go back. Let's see. Where's this rancho again? So we do have a road over here. Yeah, that's correct. But that's not on the map, apparently. And we have this ranch over here. And that one is on the map. Maybe we can count towards this bend over here. And then we can figure out where we started. I think that's the best thing to do over here. 1, 2, 3, 58, 59, 60. And then we're pretty much at the start of this bend, I would say. So that's around 60 from the ranch to the bend. And now we want to count to the ranch. I think that's a lot closer, to be honest. 1, 2... So it's 20 minus 2, so that's 18. So it's pretty much 20. Yeah, I think this is pretty correct, though. I think this should be correct. But it's a little bit less, so I would say I'm over, I'm over here. Ah, 35. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's still in. Oh, I was thinking about not getting a perfect score over there, but it apparently still counted because it's... A very big country went to uh, Copalita. That might be a river? I don't know. But we started on this river, on this nice bridge. Yes. Bienvenidos a las Bahias de Huatulco, I think. We're looking for Pochulta, Chutla, and Salina Cruz, Playa Bocana. Ooh, nice. There you go. This is what I needed. Great. So we're looking for the Mexico 200 road. Punto Puento Escondido. 120 kilometers away. Puerto Angel. 53 kilometers away. And Aero Puerto, which is 25 kilometers away. All right, let's have a look for Puento Escondido. That's over here. 200. Yeah, all right. Salina Cruz. Straight on. Wait, straight on. Oh, wait, that's over here. Well, hmm, wait, there's this Parque Nacional Huatulco. There's an airport over here as well. Ah, I think we started over here. Right? Yeah, Copalita. That's correct. We're now over here, right? Yeah, I think so. And this bridge. Yeah, great. That's looking good, guys. So we started over here on this bridge. Perfect. 25 meters, but that's still in, of course, because it's Mexico. Great. To the next round. Uh, we do have some buildings over here. Let's hope they're on the map. Ooh, nice. We do have a little junction over here of two roads. These ones should be on the map, right? 
Oh, that would be very nice and very helpful. Some more green signs. We're looking for Mata Morath and CD Victoria. There we go. I think we're looking for the Mexico 101. That's very nice. I don't know what it says. But we're looking for El Baratel. T-A-M. Alright, T-A-M. Let's go into Mexico. T-A-M. That could be over here. Yes, I think that's correct. Could be that Victoria. That's looking good, I think. And we were looking for this other village called Matamoros. Matamoros is all the way over here. Yes. El Baratel. And we're now like this. Oh, Baratel, that's over here. I think we're now over here then. Right? There's this mobile gas station distance. I think so. All right. Great. So I think we started on this road, on this 34 road. Now let's go back. Let's see. We started like this. So we started over here somewhere. And there is this junction over here. We do have these roads. We do have this junction. That's true. There is this road as well. Currently, straight to the south. Could be this one. And then there are a few buildings. And then the road is going to bend pretty soon. Yeah, I think that's looking good. So I think we're now at this road and we are close to this junction over here could even be over here somewhere yeah we're looking for two clear roads and i think those are over here yeah and so where did we start then we don't even have to count this one because we do have these buildings which should be these ones and then I think we started over here right yes there we go 13 meters Great, and now we're looking good with this urban round, I think. Yeah, that's very nice. Oh, wait. Hmm, that's specific. Two splits. All right. This is a big city. Yep, yeah, I can already tell that. All right. Let's pinpoint this one. Tixla, is that the name of the road, maybe? Guerrero. All right. Guerrero, yeah. I think that's all we needed. Let's have a look. This city should be big. And it is. I think we're in one of these cities. Let's go for this one. Tixla. Well, Tixla is over here. That's great. Now let's go back to our checkpoint. I set my checkpoint over here. And we are looking for this road going to the north. And then immediately bent. Would that be over here? El Mirador? I think so. Let's have a look again. Yeah, it is going to bend. Then there is a split over here with two roads. That's correct. And then we're over here. Yeah, I think that's looking good, guys. I think we started around here somewhere. I actually already found it. All right, let's have a look. We are looking for this split over here. Could be maybe over here. Oh, well, that's very specific. That would be over here then, right? I think so. That's too specific. Alright, so we're now over here. And if we continue, do we see this? Can we see this specific, these specific bends? Yeah, I think so. We can go over here. Oh, yeah, and then this road is over there. That's down there. Yeah, that's looking good. So we started over here, and I think. Let's have a look. So we're now on this junction again. And we started in this road. I think we can safely go, yeah, over here. Great, three meters. And now it's time for the last round. And that's absolutely amazing. We're on this junction. This should be a perfect score, I think. It should be doable. All right, we're near this Suzuki bike garage or motorbike garage. We're on the Cal Japa. And we started on the Avenida Jerez. Great, creating a big road over here. We're on Boulevard, maybe Leon. Mateus, I don't know. At least L. Mateus. Yeah, we're on the Mexico 2, Mexico 5, and we're looking for Mexico 2. Yeah, San Luis, San Felipe. Oh, a bridge coming up. I think that's going to be a big junction then. The 2 is down here, apparently. All right. Big junction then. Well, this. Oh, wait, this city is over here. 
Oh wait, Mexicali. We're over here. Yeah, that should be it. I saw Mexicali everywhere. We came from Mateus. Boulevard Mateus. So that should be over here, I think, somewhere. Lopez Mateus. Yeah, that's correct. And we came from Avenida Jerez. Oh, it's all the way over here. Great. And we were looking for Chalpa. That's over here. And there's Suzuki Motos. Great. That's it, guys. That's going to be it. Suzuki Agua Azul. Oh, yeah. That's it, guys. Here we go. There we go. One meter. And that's a perfect score. That's absolutely amazing. I think some very doable rounds, guys. I was lucky that Geogaster gave me this extra margin for the 5k range. So now it wasn't the case that you had to be in the range of 25 meters to get a perfect score. But now I could be in the range of maybe 50 meters or 35 or 4 or 40. But that was very lucky. So in the end that helped me a lot to get this perfect score. But also some very doable rounds and some very nice clues. So yeah, they did it in 50 minutes. Pretty happy with the result, especially because I got a perfect score. And as you can see, guys, that's now also Mexico done with a perfect score for this series. We're doing absolutely great. In the next episode, I'm going to do Puerto Rico with you guys for now. And thank you guys for watching to this new episode of GeoGuessr. If you enjoyed this one, actually, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below to our channel if you're new. As said, next episode, I'm going to do Puerto Rico with you guys for now. And thank you guys for watching to this new episode of GeoGuessr. And I hope to see you next time. See ya.